Hello everyone. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about home loan repayments. And when I say home loan, I'm, I mean uh, the maths behind it. So I won't be covering anything about how frequently you should pay or how much you should pay. So not really the finance details, but more about the maths details. Like how would you calculate how much you're supposed to pay the bank? Now obviously the bank will uh, calculate this for you and it will do it correctly. Um, but regardless, uh, let's let's just see how, how it's done. All right, so suppose I, I'm gonna borrow 300,000 from the bank. All right, so the principal amount is $300,000 and the interest rate per annum is going to be 6%. Now, I'm gonna write this in decimal format, so it's just gonna be 0 0.06. And just remember, this is per annum. And I'm gonna pay this over 30 years. So the question is, what is my uh, monthly repayment? Right, so monthly, how much am I gonna pay? So this is my big question. All right, now, first thing first, remember that I'm paying monthly and uh, the interest rate that I quoted was per year. So to get this interest rate into a month format, all I'm gonna do is go 0 0.06 divided by 12, right, so 12 months and now we'll end up getting 0 0.005. Okay, um, the first thing that we need to do is calculate how much do I owe, uh, how much do I owe the bank at the end of the first month? So this is gonna be, okay, I'm gonna owe 300,000 plus the interest that gets charged on that. So 300,000 times the interest rate. So we're just gonna be uh, 0.005 minus the monthly repayment, right? So this is really important to understand. So I pay, pay the principal, uh, so I'm, I'm owing, sorry, I'm not paying, I'm owing the principal amount plus the interest, interest minus my repayment, okay? Now, this one, I can simplify this the the expression I have above by just doing so because I can factorize out, factorize out 300,000 and 300,000 from there right so I can just say it's multiplied by 1.005 okay so when I when I add these two things uh, two terms up it's the same as 300,000 multiplied by 1.005 minus the monthly repayment okay in the same way in the same way, if I if I look at A2, uh, so A stands for amount owing, right? So I forgot to mention that, sorry about that. So A2 is simply going to be whatever I owe at my first month, right? Times, again, 1.005. Remember, the, re the reason it's 1.005 is because I need to, I need to pay back the amount that I'm owing plus the plus the interest rate right so plus this thing that's why it's 1.005 minus again the monthly repayment so now if i oops, sorry if i scroll back okay so so if i put this this little bit this into this so substituted in here what I'm going to end up getting is 300,000 times 1.005 squared because remember I'm multiplying this entire thing by 1.005 that's what's happening over here right so what, what's happening down here minus remember even the M has to be multiplied by 1.005 minus this M. Okay, now, so if I keep doing this, so I'll do one more thing. So I'll do A3 as well, just, just to show you. So it's, it's gonna be A2 times 1.005. So whatever I'm owing at the second month, pl uh, plus the interest rate, minus the monthly uh, repayment 
I end up getting I end up getting this 300,000 times 1.005 cubed minus uh, m times 1.005 squared uh, minus m times 1.005 and minus m. Okay, so right now you should you should start to be notice, noticing a trend. Okay, so I'm going to skip ahead and go for any arbitrary uh, repayment number. So say a a50, right? Or okay, let me choose a different color not a50 I'm going to say a a of n so n is an arbitrary number right it could be a50 it could be a70 whatever it is right uh, whatever the the number that I'm going to be owing is the 300,000 times 1.005 to the n minus m times 1.005 to the n minus 1 minus m times 1.005 to the n minus 2 and this dot 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 minus m right, so this is the amount that I'm owing right so I can factorize the m out from all of these terms right so from all of these t terms I can factorize out m and what I'm going to end up with is 300,000 times 1.005 to the n minus m times so I'll write this in the next line minus m times 1.005 to the n minus 1 dot 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 plus 1 right so in fact it's actually beneficial to write this the other way around so from 1 to 1.005 to all the way up to 1.005 n minus 1 okay now if you if you remember going back to the question uh, I said that I'm going to pay this off in 30 years right so I'm going to pay this off in 30 years and if it's going to be 30 years this n my in, in my case the n is going to be uh, 30 times 12 so it's going to be 360 okay and also if you notice this this is, this is a geometric series right so every every single number if I start from the right hand side and go backwards I'm multiplying by 1.005 right so this ends up being 300,000 times 1.005 to the uh, 360 minus m times now this one rather than writing all of this I can I can say this simply the sum of a geometric series right and I'll write down the formula on the left hand side it goes a times r to the n minus 1 all over r minus 1 okay sorry this is not n minus 1 it's r to the n and then minus 1 okay so r in this case the the ratio in in my in my case is 1.005 because remember I'm, I'm thinking about going from right to left starting starting from 1 right to the n over here is the number of terms because it starts from 1 there's actually going to be 360 terms okay minus 1 uh, divided by 0. 0, 0, 0.005 so 1.005 minus 1 will give me 0 0.005 and a if you if you haven't uh, noticed already is simply 1 a is the first term all right so here we go that this is what we have okay and to find out what my monthly repayment has to be this this is the easy part at the end of at the end of your term, at the end of uh, this 360, I need to be owing zero, right? So I need to be owing zero. So now I have an equation. So if you if you look at if you look at this thing, if you look at this part, so 
sorry about my wiggly drawings. If you look at this part, it has to be equal to zero. The only unknown is my m. Everything else has numbers against it. I can solve this, right? So after I solve this, I end up getting, in, in my, in this particular question, I end up getting uh, 1,798 and 65 cents, right? So uh, this, this number I plugged it in, and this number I plugged it in the calculator, right? So uh, I don't have the individual working out, but anyway, so I'll leave this to you as an exercise and make sure you get it. If you don't, uh, just let me know. I'll, I'll do that part as well. But um, yeah, let me know if, if you have any questions or comments. And thanks.